Hello, people of God. Today is actually the... What's today, my thing? Today is the 12th of February, 2020. And we are... And we are encouraged by David's lifestyle of praise and worship. David simply puts it, your praise shall continually be on my lips. You know, we thank God for all his goodness. The Bible says he's the only good God, the only God. He's merciful, his love, loving kindness abounds, his mercies endures forever, his grace abounds, his a loving God. He's wonderful. He's, the Bible simply puts it, before Jesus was born, he's a wonderful counselor, the prince of peace. And therefore, it is in nature that it causes us to live at peace with all men. And holiness, without which no one can see God. We're going to be able to see people through the eyes of God. Even as... No, Jesus has said in Romans that we should not conform to the culture of this world. The culture of this world that, that, that believe in ourselves, that believe in materialism, that thing that uh, what our possession is, is what makes us. The Bible says uh, the worth of a man is not in the possession of him. But as a man thinketh, so is he. But he's saying that we should... Do away with our worldly thinking and have the mind of Christ. The same mind that was in Christ, that, that, that way we'll be able to do God's acceptable will, God's pleasing will, God ac acceptable will, God's pleasing will, God's perfect will. We say, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in our life. May Christ be revealed in every area of our lives. May Christ take over our lives completely and totally. As we come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we stand in face to face. We look upon your countenance, we see the goodness of your grace, we can only bow down. And say, oh, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise, to you our hearts we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for our relationship. Thank you for our marriages. Thank you for our children's lives. Thank you for our government. He said the government shall be upon your shoulders. May every worldly wisdom be aborted as we adopt the wisdom of God in our day-to-day -day dealings, in our day-to-day -day lives. But only way that we can accept your pleasing will. Thank you, Jesus.